That deadly bus accident we told you about at the top of the show. A tour bus filled with children and teenagers crashes in Indiana, flipping on its side. Three passengers were killed, while Good Samaritans rushed to the scene trying to help the dozens wounded. And now authorities are looking into whether the driver was going too fast. ABC's Ty Hernandez is here with the story. Good morning, Ty. Good morning, Deanna and Dan. The passengers were members of the Colonial Hills Baptist Church in Indianapolis, and most of them were teenagers. Those who survived are lucky to be alive after they say everything changed in an instant. This morning, an Indianapolis church is coping with the loss of three of its members after a charter bus carrying 37 overturned on a busy interstate Saturday. The church group was returning from a Michigan youth camp when the bus smashed into a retaining wall around 4 p.m., flipping onto its side. According to emergency workers, the bus was seen traveling at a high rate of speed. I have no idea how fast, but it was the light had turned green for the southbound tra traffic and then the bus just flew into my vision right away and flipped just in an instant. A nurse who stopped to help added the driver was severely hurt. He was bleeding pretty bad, so I stole somebody's belt from the desk I can remember and got a tourniquet on his arm and then just started to help out everybody else, try to get everybody that could walk away from the bus. Officials say that over two dozen people were injured, including a toddler. We have a total of 26 that were transported to the hospital, ranging from critical to serious. But mostly we have a lot of head injuries and a lot of extremity injuries so far. At this point, authorities believe the bus was the only vehicle involved in the accident, but of course the investigation is still ongoing. Dan? Those bystanders did incredible work. Ty, thank you.